Namaste, Saraswati Devi, <coughs> Gaudamani Pacharine, Nirvise Sasunya Vadi, Pastyat Nirdei Sitarine, Panchakalpa Tarubis Chakripa Sindhu Vee Bacha, Patitana Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namaho Namaha, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadahar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare um, Yeah, so uh, Wednesday was the last day we were able to uh, mention our theme, which is Lord Chaitanya, for the remaining of the months, we are now exactly, and tomorrow will be two weeks for his appearance day, and so we will, as much as we can, we'll try to focus on Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and it'll be more systematic starting on maybe tomorrow or Monday in terms of a series of lectures, which will be connecting day by day. For today, we'll uh, explore the mood of Lord Chaitanya's teachings, which is the mood of devotion, which he practiced and he also taught and that is called Vipralamba Bhava, which means to serve Krishna in the mood of separation. Hmm. Uh, contrary to a, what a lot of uh, spiritual groups practice, it's about trying to meet with God. Um, the devotees have nothing, no objection to trying to meet with God. But that is not the mood of their service. Their mood is, is feeling the separation of the Lord. Of course, to meet with God is not a small thing. And that can only happen by God's uh, sanction. Only when he wants to reveal himself does the devotee experience his presence. But in the practice of devotional service, we always feel the presence of the Lord to some degree, depending on how much we are attentive to our service and how much we are aware of that Krishna's mercy is everything in all activities. In other words, everything begins and ends with Krishna because everything is coming from Krishna. And therefore, the only can feel the presence of Krishna as Krishna works through his energies to inspire, to uplift, to protect his devotees. But the higher moods of devotion, which comes by the practice of concentrated devotional service, going from one stage to another, reaching the stage of bhava, is the mood that of separation. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is in that mood in his practice of Krishna consciousness because we know Krishna left Vrindavan at the age of about 10, 10 and a half, I think. And uh, Krishna stayed on the planet for 125 years. Um, during those years, be time to, from the time he left to the time he disappeared, he came back to Vrindavan occasionally, maybe two, three, four times. And one time he came for two, three months. But most of the time he was away from Vrindavan, either in Mathura, taking care of the demons there, and then in Dwarka, as Dwarkadish, performing his pastimes there also and killing demons and uh, 
protecting the queens of Vrindavan, the queens of the queens of uh, Dwarka. So Lord Chaitanya's mood is Vipralambhava because he's actually Srimati Radharani's mood. He's Krishna. There is no doubt about that. Lord Chaitanya is Krishna, but he happens to have her nature and her mood is that she was always feeling separation. So you'll see, especially in his later part of his life, he exhibited that mood of separation as the main expression of his devotion to Krishna. Always wanting to associate with Krishna, but never really finding that uh, perfection. Although at times, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to have three moods, or not three moods, I'm sorry, three states of consciousness. One was called internal, one was external, and one was half internal, half external. So in his internal consciousness, he would go into trance and travel through the mind's power to the realms of Vrindavan, where he would be present with Krishna in Vrindavan, performing various pastimes. But then again, a lot of times his devotees would bring him out of that consciousness, much to his chagrin. And uh, he always hankered to go back into that mood. But then again, his mood was always the mood of separation. <clears throat> that mood of separation is also the mood of Lord Jagannath. Because luggage, Jagannath is actually non-different than Krishna. And Jagannath represents uh, Krishna away from Vrindavan. When Krishna left Vrindavan, of course, at the age of 10 and a half years old to take care of business in Mathura, he stayed away. And of course, there was so much concerned and when Krishna will come back. So the mood of separation was very strong amongst his residents. So much so that at one point, all the gopis transformed themselves and actually appear, reappeared in Dwarka as the queens of Dwarka. So the different gopis that were there in Vrindavan re reappeared as the 16,108 wives of Krishna in Dwarka. Rukmini um, was, was Chandravali in Vrindavan and Radharani was Satyabhama. And all of the principal queens were some of the principles of the gopis such as Lalita, Vishaka, and Bhadra, Shamala, Padma, like that. Uh, and of course, the not only the principal gopis, but the astasakis also. So uh, this mood of worship is very important because that is the emblem of a devotee's practice. We chant wanting to, knowing that Krishna is distance from us. His name is non-different than himself, so we're associating him with him and his name. And to whatever degree we can experience, based on our devotion, we can experience his presence. But the devotee is never happy with that, always wants more and more. So that hankering for Krishna is the mood of separation. Thinking about Krishna is the mood of separation. Serving Krishna, wanting to, Krishna to come and accept our service is the mood of separation. And the mood of separation has, can only be enhanced when the devotees have no other interest in the material world. As long as we have that interest in that in the material world yet, we can't really develop that mood of separation from Krishna. Because we're still looking 
in the opposite direction for some satisfaction. Therefore, the mood of separation is only Krishna can fulfill my desires. Only Krishna can satisfy my heart. Only Krishna is the object of everything I do. So in that mood of service, which is taught by Lord Chaitanya, especially in his later years, which are known as the Antya Leelas, uh, he exhibited that, that let's just let me be with Krishna. So in his later life, he was surrounded by mostly two devotees who were constantly with him. And that was Sarup Damodar Goswami and Ramananda Roy. And uh, Sarup Damodar Goswami is an incarnation of the Gopi Lalita. And Ramananda Roy is a manifestation or incarnation of the Gopi Vishaka. And Radharani's mood of separation was exhibited by Lord Chaitanya. So it was like Radharani with her two principal girlfriends, Lalita and Vishaka, together. Of course, they all had male bodies, but that's all external. Their moods were separation from Krishna. And as the friends of Rinda, as Radharani's friends were always helping her to somehow or other uh, connect with Krishna in devotion, or pacifying her more as they were more like pacifying her feelings when she was feeling separation from Krishna. So in the same way, Subdhamadar Goswami and Ramananda were, Roy were always singing and chanting prayers to Mahaprabhu, which were the prayers of separation from Krishna, mostly by Chandidas, Vidyapati, Jayadev Goswami, and a few others, uh, famous Vaishnav poets. And therefore, they were enhancing that loving relationship. And so the mood is, this is, sounds a little advanced, but we, should, we can hear about it. The mood is that when one separation from Krishna becomes, uh, reaches a certain level, level, then one cannot, one doesn't see any, any importance to anything in the material world anymore. In other words, this longing to be with Krishna as it reaches intensity and increases in that intensity leaves one, leaves one unhappy about everything in the material world, not you know, indifferent about everything in the material world. And this feeling of unhappiness, which is the highest form of ecstasy, because I can't really get Krishna. Although my love for Krishna is there, I can't get Krishna because I'm so unqualified. Why would he come to me anyway? Uh, there's, no, I'm, I, there's nothing about me that is important for Krishna. So that mood just in, intensifies until a person actually uh, can no longer be without Krishna. And then when one cannot live without Krishna for another second, either two things happen. One, they immediately leave their body and go back to the spiritual world. Or um, they reach an intense feeling that actually Krishna appears to them in their heart and then they feel happy. Either one. We have the example of our one of our greatest of all devotees in the ISKCON society. His name was Gorgovinda Maharaj who was reciting the pastimes of Lord Jagannath's separation from Vrindavan, but Krishna's separation from Vrindavan, which is the mood of Jagannath. And while he was reciting these pastimes, going deep into it, he went into trance. This was in Mayapur on uh, February 9th, 1996. I was personally there, but not directly with him at the time. I was in Mayapur in another area. And uh, he went in such deep trance after speaking about Jagannath 
in the mood of Krishna's separation from Vrindavan, that he uh, just remained silent and closed his eyes. And this went on for a long time. There was a, a not a room full of devotees, but a, there were a few devotees in the room there listening. And that was it. He was gone. He never came back again. He actually left the world chanting the glories of Lord Jagannath and went into ecstatic trance and disappeared. So his departure was glorious. <laughs> and it just happened to be on the same day of the appearance of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So um, we see, you know, how great souls, when they become absorbed in the Lord, their hearts just long to associate with the Lord and they can no longer you know, feel that separation anymore becomes unbearable. Well, that's what Lord Chaitanya has teaching us. So our mood is to serve and to, to bring it down to a practical understanding. Our mood is to serve the Lord. Uh, close your microphone, Roberto. Mm -hmm. It's good, Maharaj, I muted him. Okay. Um, uh, on a practical level, our devotion, our, our activities in this world are that we serve in such a way that we're always trying to attract Krishna by our service. So that's the mood of separation. Let me serve in such a way that Krishna wants to come and... Uh, accept my service. So that eagerness to serve with devotion and to serve with, in the best possible way, that means doing the service as nicely as one can with, with proper understanding of how to do the service. That is an indication of wanting Krishna to come. And that, that indication of wanting Krishna to come and be there is the mood of separation which is taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that is our, that is our sampradaya, that is our mood, that is our practice. That. There are others who have this idea, well, there was Prabhupada talks about one lady, she wrote one book, and then she would also speak in public how, you know, she was there in the evening and Krishna came to see her and, and Krishna was snatching her sari like that. Mm. So she was speaking like that in public. Krishna came to see her. So Prabhupada said that, you know, that's just some kind of pretense, some kind of um, uh, imagination. And he said that is not her, our mood. It's just sahajya, it's taking things cheaply. Krishna is not like that. To get Krishna is not so easy. In fact, it's very difficult. It's a lifetime of service and devotion. And so that mood is taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know, as Lishyabab, Unano, Yugaitam, Nimeshena, Chakshusha Prabhishaitam, Shunyaitam, Jagat Sarvam. Govinda Virahenane. That's from that's the, the second to the last verse, number seven, in the Shikshastika prayers. Uh, I'm feeling separation. Yugai itam nimeshena. I'm considering 12, 12, one moment to be 12 years or more. Tears are falling from my eyes like torrents of rain. And I'm feeling all vacant in this world by your absence. Well, that's Lord Chaitanya's teaching. We study that verse and the verse before that. Nainam gladara srudaraya vaddanam gadgara vudaya gira pulakaya nichitam gapukada tavanamagahame bhavishyati. That is also that verse there is that. When will my eyes be decorated with tears of love, love flowing constantly when I chant your holy name? 
When will my voice choke up? When will the hairs of my body stand on end at the recitation of your name? So these two verses, and of course the verse before that, uh, excuse me a minute, I, I locked out my assistant, I gotta let him in, one minute. <clears throat> And the verse before that, in those three verses, five, six, and seven, Ayin Anda Tunu Jakinkaram Matitam Mam Vishame Bhavam Buddha Kripaya Tavapada Pankaja Stita Duli Sadrisham Vichintaya. O son of Maharaj Nanda, I am your eternal servant. Somehow or other, I've fallen into this ocean of birth and death. Please, please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms at your lotus feet. So this is the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in verses five, six, and seven in the Shikshastik and prayers. He exhibits more of that mood of uh, separation as the verses go on to the, from five to six to seven. The last verse is also has elements of separation in it, but it's in the mood of meeting Krishna. And that verse is recited in the mood of meeting Krishna, that is Radharani's highest expression of love for Krishna. So if we study Lord Chaitanya's mood of devotion and his teachings alongside of that, we understand what is this process of bhakti, how it works. It's more than just doing activities, it's doing activities with the desire to please Krishna, wanting to Krishna to come and accept our service. That is the devotion. Okay, so um, I'm going to conclude here and see if there's any comments or questions. Again, Lord Jagannath, he is in that mood of separation from Vrindavan, so that's Krishna in the mood of separation. And the whole Jagannath Rathyatra festival is Radharani leading Krishna back to Vrindavan. And that leading was performed by Lord Chaitanya when he was dancing in the front of the Jagannath car, directing Lord Jagannath to please return to your home, who uh, so that mood, that if you study the Rathayatra mood, which is mentioned nicely in the Chaitanya Charita Ritan, Madhya Lila chapter 13, and that whole mood is there, the mood of Krishna returning to Vrindavan, feeling the separation of the, his residence in Vrindavan. Okay, so Krishna feels the separation and the devotees also feel separation. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for uh, reminding us about the mood of separation of Lord Chaitanya, Lord Jagannath, and Radharani, and helping us to understand that this is the mood we should aspire for, to try to attract Lord Krishna by our service mood and service attitude, and our service itself with love and devotion, entreating him to come and accept it. Dear devotees, please feel free to ask questions at this point. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful lecture. Um, 
Maharaj, this, uh, I have a question in the sense that this mood of separation, is it also uh, the same in the original Golak Vrindavan compared to where Krishna comes uh, on uh, the on earth, earthly pastimes? Is it the same type of mood of separation or is there a difference? Uh, as compared to? In Golak Vrindavan, original Golak Vrindavan. In Golak Vrindavan, there is the feelings of separation, but Krishna is there. In the spiritual world, Krishna is there. In the material world, he goes from place to place. But there is a indication of separation in the spiritual world also. As Krishna performs his pastimes, the, 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 during the day, the gopis are feeling separation and the cowherd boys are feeling happiness. Because he's with the cows and the cowherd boys throughout the day. And his parents are also feeling separation for him because he's out playing, he's out herding cows, he's out doing his uh, fun games with his with his cowherd boys. He spends a lot of time with the cowherd boys, but then in the evening times and in, in the morning, he's going to see with the gopis. So then they meet Krishna. So you see the Astakala Leela, which is there by, uh, um, what is it? Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Govinda Lilamrita is there, Astakali Alila. Um, there's two different, and it talks about Asta means eight, so eight parts of the day where Krishna performs his different pastimes like that. But that's in the spiritual world. In the material world, there is a prototype of that, of that but mostly it's the mode of separation in the spiritual world because Krishna leaves the time when the Kura came to take Krishna out of Vrindavan was Krishna when Krishna was about 10 and a half years old. And after that, he only came back for a few times. So that mood of separation was quite intense. But the mood's there in the spiritual world also. But the meeting is more, more, more current. They meet Krishna more often in the spiritual world. When Krishna performs his earthly pastimes, he has to kill demons. And there's no demons in the spiritual world. So that's the reason why he left. He went to Madhura to kill Kamsa and uh, reestablish Uvrasen on the throne. And then he went to Dwarka and there were so many demons there. And, you know, there was you know, Shishupal, there was Dantar Barka, there was, uh, you know, what's his name? Uh, can't think of his name. Big powerful demon. Uh, Jarasandha. So Krishna always was hankering to return to Vrindavan. But the, what kept him away is that he wanted to finish off all these demons before he came. And so that's why he was staying away. And he was always sending messages. I have a few more demons to, to kill and I'll be back. <laughs> <You> know, <so. laughs> because that's part of his mission in coming to the material world is to get rid of demons. In the spiritual world, there's no demons. But there is sometimes there is a... Uh, a feeling that there are demons there just to increase the, and to enhance these particular pastimes. But they're not actually demons because demons can't go to the spiritual world. There's a semblance of thought that there might, that there is demons and some pastimes go on like that. But in the material world, it's just full of demons. <laughs> just like today is just, you know, as Kali Yuga progresses, the demons become more and more profuse. Mm -hmm. 
as the modes of passion and ignorance increase, the demons become more and more powerful. So this world is just full of people who are against God, who are atheists, Gnostic, and just demoniac. So when Krishna comes to this world, he comes to do the work. So he's coming that he's coming this age in the form of his name. So he came as Mahaprabhu and he delivered the means for pushing back the demoniac influence in this age, and that is the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Sri Hari Nam Sankirtan. So that mood of separation is there in both places, but it's it's a lot different in the apricot and prakat leelas. So thank you, Maharaj. So Maharaj, is it fair? Uh, so on the earthly pastimes, the mood of separation is more intense than in Golak, Vrindavan? It appears to be. Mm, okay. I can't. I can't say it's more intense. It's just more frequent. That's all. Okay. You know, because you know, Krishna, he's there with his mother, and he goes out, herds the cows all day, plays with them, comes back at night, and meets Radharani and the gopis in different places. Stays all night, and he acts like he's sleeping, but he doesn't. He stays out with the gopis. He comes back about three thirty in the morning. And he's been up all night and he goes to sleep at 3.30 and his mother wakes him up around 6 o'clock so he gets about two hours sleep. And uh, then he come, he wakes up at that time and then he begins his day again. <laughs> like, so that's Krishna and in, 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 according to his scheduled leelas that are mentioned like that. He has scheduled leelas but when he was in the material world he was just his main service was to kill demons. That was the, that's why he came. Yadaya dai dharmasya glani bhavati bharatam abhutanam dharmasya tadatmaham sujamiham pravitranayam sadunam vinashinaya cha duskritam duskritam vinashina means to destroy duskritam the miscreants dharma samstapanartayam sambhavene bhavami yuge yuge. So he comes to the material world to rid the world of demons. So he's here in this age in the chanting of the holy name. So in this age, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, it's not like he came to kill the demons on their physical level. He came to kill them, kill their mentality by introducing the Harinam Sankirtan. And so, Uh, but when Krishna was here, personally, there was two demons practically coming every day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Kamsa was very fearful of Krishna, and he kept sending all these demons to Vrindavan. Finally, because the, 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 had the, because of the residents of Vrindavan were being harassed by all these demons, Krishna decided to kill Kamsa, so he would, you know, so they, and then give protection to the residents of Vrindavan. And you see, you just read the Bhagavatam, one demon after another coming to get Krishna and how his devotees were put, put into so many, so much anxieties, either for their own safety or for the safety of Krishna. Even the lifting of the Govardhan Hill, when Krishna performed that, Indra tried to destroy the entire land of Vrindavan and all the inhabitants in it. Krishna came and lifted Govardhan Hill and protected everybody. So he had to protect his devotees and at the same time kill the demons. And he did both at the same time. But a lot of times he was away from Vrindavan for, for like decades, long times. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, that famous meeting at Kurukshetra when all the residents of Vrindavan, including his mother and father, Nanda Maharaj, Vasudev, Devaki, Jagannath, they all came. 
to see Krishna in, in uh, Dwarka. And Krishna was in the mood of a Kshatriya, a fighter. And they couldn't appreciate so much that mood because they weren't, they were all, they only, they were loving Krishna in the mood of Vrindavan. And even Radharani, when she saw Krishna at that time, she was feeling more separation from Krishna at that time than she did, she did when he when he left Vrindavan. Because although she was with him, she couldn't experience Vrindavan Krishna, which is her mood of, of love for Krishna. He was in Dwarka, he was Dwarkadish. And therefore, that, that, that's Kurukshetra is one of the highest forms of bhakti. Rather, all the, go, all the residents of Vrindavan came to see Krishna in Kurukshetra, but they couldn't feel the happiness of being with him like it was when they were in Vrindavan. It's just like you might say, well, you know, you're. Uh, so you have your family and then you have your children. So then when you go to work and you're in your office and you're very business-like, your family comes and sees you there. And maybe you can't relate to them as you normally do because you're in your mood of the office, there's colleagues around. And so you keep your business mood going because that's, that's what the office is like. So the, re the relationship is not the same as when you're home with your family and it's more intimate. So it's the same thing with Krishna. Go with the residents of Vrindavan couldn't feel that happiness that they normally did when they were when Krishna was there. And so they were, that's the whole pastime of Jagannath returning uh, into Krishna returning in the form of Lord Jagannath in Vrindavan. And that's the meaning of the car festival, Narathi Ashram. Krishna returning to Vrindavan. Thank you, Maharaj. This has clarified. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. I have a question about meeting Krishna in our chanting, when we are chanting the holy names, we are encouraged to think of Krishna, connect with Krishna, invite Krishna into our hearts, uh, plead with Krishna to purify us, engage us in service and so on. But at other times I've read that we here don't try to see Krishna, don't try to meet Krishna. You act in such a way that Krishna wants to see you, Krishna wants to meet you. So how we can have this mood of separation when we are chanting? Yeah, longing for Krishna is the mood of separation. As opposed to, you know, uh, I'm with Krishna and Krishna is with me and I'm Krishna conscious. <laughs> Lord Chaitanya, somebody said to Lord Chaitanya, oh, you are such a great devotee of Lord Krishna. And Lord Chaitanya said, I am not at all a great devotee. How is it that I could be a great devotee when I'm still every day trying to maintain my body? This indicates that I'm not at all a great devotee. I'm still breathing, I'm still eating. <laughs> So longing for Krishna is the mood of separation. If Krishna decides to, to come and see you, that's nice. The mood of the pretentious mood of, of those who practice some form of spirituality is that I know Krishna, I was with Krishna, Krishna talked to me, Krishna said this, Krishna did this. <laughs> You know, that's not our mood. Okay, thank you, Guru Maharaj. 
I don't know if you understood the answer or not, so. I think I'm still quite confused about that part, about when they say, don't try to meet Krishna, don't try to see Krishna, but act in such a way that Krishna wants to see you. So yeah, I mean, act in such a way as Krishna wants to see you. That means you long for, for Krishna's mercy. If you don't want Krishna, he ain't going to come. <laughs> you have to want Krishna. <laughs> if, you, if you say, I want to love somebody, but please, I don't come. <laughs> That's not separation. Separation means I really want you to come because, you know, fill this, this gap in my heart, which is waiting for you to come. That's, that's the mood. That's not like trying to see Krishna. That's that's the mood of, of bhakti. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj, that's, that's really what my understanding is. But I get confused when I hear things like, don't try to see Krishna, don't try to meet Krishna. I don't get that. What, 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 are, you supposed, what are you doing every day? You, you're serving you're to Krishna. You're begging Krishna. You're pleading with Krishna to come. Yeah, but it's not that, you know, you can't demand him to come. It's not like that. It's your love that will attract him. Trying to see Krishna means, well, I'm going to do something like this and Krishna is going to come and come and be with me because I, I did this nice service. <laughs> So remove all that pretentiousness and Sahajiya mentality and really try to go deeper into the yeah. longing for Krishna. Yeah, that, that brings you to the point of complete detachment for everything in this world and only attachment to Krishna. Yes, Guru Maharaj, thank you. Hare, Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Mr. Malabi. Satyanayan Das here, please uh, accept my humble obeisance. It's all great to share uh, I just like to share my, uh, either you call it realization or understanding regarding the question, don't try to see Krishna. Um, and uh, don't try to see Krishna. Uh, let Krishna see you. But even, even if we want to see Krishna, we can't because we haven't got eyes for that. Am I correct? Premanj vitam bhakti vilochanena santasa daiva radiyeshu vilokayanti yam shama sundar chinta guna sarupyam govindamari purusham tamaham bhajami. Yeah. That's the answer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so while while we can't, we haven't got eyes to see Krishna, so better um, Krishna sees us because he has got eyes to see us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll want to see you when when you when you ha when you don't want anything else but him. <laughs> yeah, and we, we 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 only should try to see Krishna by chanting his holy name, and uh, uh, engage ourselves in a uh, transcendent devotional service of his devotees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's perfect. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we have about 10 minutes left. Bring lunch right away. You can bring it now. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Okay, no more questions. Um, for those of you who are interested, I'm giving another talk today at four o'clock UK time. Uh, it's, to an, it's to a new group of, of people. Um, you can come on and be on, but uh, where I would suggest you don't ask any questions because these are all new people who just practicing Krishna consciousness from the beginning. And the person who's conducting it wants to just focus on giving them a chance to understand some basic stuff. I said, it'll be pretty basic if you want to come on. That's, uh, I'll send the link. You can come on, but please don't uh, ask any questions. You can just hear because we want to inspire these new people to speak up and uh, ask questions. So that's from uh, four o'clock to five o'clock UK time this afternoon. So I'll send the link to uh, Lavanya and then Lavanya can send it out. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Is good, Maharaj. I can I can share it. Yeah, we'll make make that indication. Please don't ask questions. It will interfere with the whole mood of this presentation because it's all only for new people. That's good, Maharaj. We'll be speaking about Lord Jagannath today. Okay. Thank you for um, sharing information about that upcoming class. I have a quick question. How can we bring that mood of longing and separation into our chanting rather than it becoming a mechanical routine thing that we just do because we have to do it? Well, Sivar Ram Maharaj addresses that nicely in his new book, which is his recent book, Sankalpa Komodi. Uh, Lord Chaitanya, I mean, Srila Prabhupada also teaches us one should chant in the mood of calling for Krishna. It's not like I'm chanting my japa and, well, oh, here comes the phone. I wonder who, who that is. Somebody to talk to. All right. <laughs> That's not, that won't work. If you're chanting your job, you should be 100% away from everything else. Yes, Guru Mara, thank you very much for that. Yeah, you can just do some research. There's a lot of statements about service and separation, chanting in the mood of separation. It's like calling. We're calling and we're calling, but Krishna is not coming. So we don't give up the calling because he's not coming. <laughs> we increase our desire to call with greater feeling. Yes, like a child crying out for the mother. Yeah, that's that's Prabhupada's. He introduced that when he first started the movement. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to end here because I have... Namrata has, Guru Maharaj, Namrata has raised her hand. I believe she would like to ask something. Okay. Hi, Krishna Maharaj. Can you listen to me? Yeah. Are you able to listen to me? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Dandavat Param Maharaj. Uh, so my question is uh, about Indra. Uh, Indra being such an elevated personality, 
uh, why we do hear uh, at many instances we hear about his pride and uh, you know ignorant behavior uh, why is it that with uh, indra <laughs> well i can only say that as one has power position fame opulence which are all there in indra the tendency is to become proud he's got power he's got followers he's got position he has opulence he has influence so with all that material benefit it could be you know pride can easily come in and energy gets himself in trouble like that because of that and then he realizes his mistake he corrects it and then something else happens later he's had a, he's got a he's got a particular service that's very difficult he has to maintain the, the the universal affairs to make sure everything goes on nicely just like a a king has to maintain the kingdom so he's king indra yeah. because he has to maintain both the heavenly realm and make sure that the the other realms that work under his jurisdiction are also maintained no he's he's not in he has uh, he has a very very big service so sometimes he becomes proud okay maharaj thank you hi krishna okay thank you thank you devotees we will see you all tomorrow for more on lord chaitanya thank you shila prabhupad thank you guru maharaj mata ji will you make a devotees tomorrow onwards daylight savings kicks in so please